everyone and welcome back to my channel and today is my end of month Disney haul again and I actually can't believe that we are almost in August now although when this comes up it probably will be August so yeah but this will be mental and once we hit August I can officially say I'm going to Disney World next month which is so exciting um, so basically I was meant to be good this month with my spending on Disney items um, and I thought I was until I looked back on my list as to what I've bought this month and there is an insane amount of things again and I've just got it all out and it's yeah it's a big pile once again so it was bad and I thought I was being good but I wasn't um, so yeah let's get started there's no particular order to anything I got this month because I can't remember what I got when um, but I got this chip bag from Primark um, I couldn't get this myself at the time um, my stores just weren't stocking it so my friend actually messaged me to say that she had a spare one and she sent it to me very kindly um, it, yeah it's not big it's not very big at all like it's got a zip on the back here and I mean, it is a kids bag so it's it's really small inside but you might be able to fit a phone in there maybe I just thought it was very very cute so yeah, that is £5 in Primark. Oh, so I had this, they also at the same time bought out this small coin purse matching. Um, so yeah, they're cute together, but another one of my friends actually sent me this and very kindly um, sent it to me for free, which is super kind of him. Um, so yeah, this is also in Primark, this is £3 and it's glittery and cute. This is a little more practical um, because it's just like a coin purse size. So that's more practical I think but I couldn't have one without the other so yep I got them two in Primark so I just want to apologise again this fan is on because it's hot in my room but also the lighting's going to keep changing because today's got some really funny weather going on it sort of comes out sunny and then it looks like it's going to chuck it down so can't guarantee what the lighting in here is going to be doing throughout this so another item I got was this um, Baymax inspired bow um, it's from Marshmallow Bows and I will put her details in the link below um, so she features in my giveaway that has, once this, come out, this comes out, has just ended but she very very kindly also sent me um, this for myself as a little um, sort of welcome to her shop gift and it's really cute so yeah it's Baymax inspired and it's squidgy um, and on the back it's got this little I don't know if you can see it past the ribbon but it's got a clip in it like a hair clip so you can clip it on and um, it was also got I've just undone it by accident but this ribbon hanging off of it and from what I've seen on her page you can sort of tie it around your wrist and it will sort of you can wear it like a big bow on your wrist which is cute so yeah this is really nice and she makes also you probably would have seen in my last video and I've mentioned my giveaway she makes these big um sort of headbands with this big marshmallow bow on it and they're really really cute so yeah definitely like her stuff and this will be coming to Disney World with me of course so Primark this month has gone Beauty and the Beast crazy again so a lot of what I've got is Beauty and the Beast and um, one of what which I can't speak one of which is this pom-pom keyring also from Primark obviously if you can hear anything it's my pile of stuff falling over so it's this purple pom-pom and it's got Mrs. Sun's gone in again. <laughs> Mrs. Potts and Chip little detail on it. It's cute. It's a bag charm as well, so it's got this little clip. And that is two pound in Primark. I also got the Chip keyring that I've just bought out. So he's sort of enamel and he's glittery and um, metal keyring. And he is also two pound in Primark. These are in the kids section. So everything I've shown you chip so far is actually in the, the kids section in Primark, so if you're looking for it, it'll be there. I think it was only about two weeks ago, Primark just launched their um, Beauty and the Beast purse ranges that they said they were going to be launching, and everyone's gone absolutely crazy for them. So I unfortunately haven't been able to get to a store to get them, um, despite the fact that I work in London, like I've said before, I didn't have time to go over to the Oxford Street stores, and they were sold out before um, I finish work so I just couldn't get them. I very fortunately have very 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 good friends so one of my friends very very kindly in a parcel that she sent me 
along with numerous other items that are in this haul this month, um, sent me the Mrs. Potts purse. She's a bit squished at the moment. Yeah, Mrs. Potts purse. She's a little bit of a funny shape. Um, this bit's funny, but I still think she's cute. I had to have her. Um, I won't be using these as purses because I really want to just display them only. Um, but yeah, she's, she's a purse and she's got a little handle on the back. So she was six pounds. So when I when they were being bought out, I thought they were all going to be the same price. But she's actually the most expensive one. So she's six pound. My friend also managed to get hold of me the Cogsworth one. Who is more of a practical shape for a purse, I'd say. It's sort of circular. Um, and he was four pounds. So this is the price that I thought all of them were going to be. Um, but he's one of my favourites, I think, because his gold is sort of shiny and he's just adorable. A different friend also managed to get hold of my Lumiere for me. Um, he's probably my least favourite out of the Primark purses. I think because of his body, it's it's just completely flat. I mean, I still like him and I'm glad I have him so I can complete the set. But out of them, he's probably my least favourite. Um, but his head is the coin section of him. And he has a little flame on him. And he was £4. And this is my favourite one, and it literally turned up, well, I went to the post office to pick her up today, so I haven't even had time to study her properly, but it's the wardrobe, and I can't pronounce her name because it's a mouthful, but she is amazing. Look at her, and she stands up, and yeah, she's my favourite, so she was also £4, um, and I was contacted by someone to say they had a spare one, so I bought that off them, and I now have the full set, so... I know they're very hard to get hold of. I haven't personally been able to pick any of them up, but I have heard they keep restocking them, so people will be able to get them. Um, but I think they're amazing. For the price of them, they are so cute. Um, I just have to try and make room on my shelf for them now, um, just so I can display them with, along with my other Beauty and the Beast items. So if you watched my last video, which was the blind bag opening, you would have seen that I went crazy in Forbidden Planet this month, and I went on a mad um, buying, excessive buying spree and I bought loads of blind bags um, or blind boxes. So one of the ones I bought, I bought the blind, I guess it was a blind box, I can't remember the name of it now because I've thrown away the box, um, but it's basically a box and you open it up and there's a black bag inside it and you could have, I think it's sort of, I want to say it's villains and their sidekicks but I can't remember who was in it. Um, but basically there was a few in there I wanted and this was one of them and I got the white rabbit and um, he's very very light but I still think he's cute so I think off the top of my head the blind box was £6 in Forbidden Planet but I can't I definitely said it in my last video so if you wanted to know it's in that so in my blind bags if you watched it you would have seen that I did get a couple of doubles so I did get a couple of Lumiere's um, one of which is here and I already had one because my friend sent me one oh, earlier in this month. So my, my friend sent me a Lumia earlier in this month. And then um, in my blind bags I've got two more. So I am passing with them. But yeah, I got him. I got Alice in one of them. The figure of gearing and the sun is shining on her. Yeah, so I got Alice. My favourite one is Simba that I got. I got the Queen of Hearts, which again, I have two of these now because my friend also sent me another one earlier this month, so I have two of her. I have Mickey Mouse, and um, I also got the mini, um, black and white mini, but I don't know what I've done with her because I can't find her, but my room is a mess, so she's probably hiding somewhere, but yeah, she's basically the matching mini, just black and white. Um, and then not in my blind bag, my, other, my friend again sent me... Um, this one, which she's from Finding Nemo, and her name is oh her name's Destiny, I think, isn't it? Or Finding Dory, even she's from Finding Dory, and it's Destiny. Um, my friend also sold uh, sold me, sent me um, Hades, but again I can't find him, and I think my brother has taken him. So it's probably in my brother's room, and um, but I've got Hades as well. So yeah, I've got quite a lot of these big old key rings this month because I'm addicted and I can't help myself 
So when I was in Forbidden Planet, I also picked up um, a pop vinyl, and it's not sitting in the box properly at the moment because I've had her out. Um, but I got the Mrs. Potts and Chip pop vinyl because they were free for twenty nine ninety seven, and my boyfriend wanted a pop vinyl, and also my brother did too. So I picked up this one to make up to the free. And I'm glad I did because it's one that I wanted. Um, I do want Cogsworth and Lumiere from this range too. Um, but I'm going to slowly buy them. So I got that one. I'll stick with the theme of pop vinyls for now. Um, my friend that sent me a parcel of other goodies also sent me um, the live action Belle pop vinyl. Um, she's lovely. I've had her out of the box. I'm very careful with them. I have them out of the box but I am careful with the box because I do keep them. Um, but yeah, she's lovely. She's very heavy actually, compared to some of the other um, princesses. So yeah, I got her. And then my friend also managed to pick me up. So the reason I got a box off my friend was for this item only, but she very, very kindly put other stuff in it because she's way too kind for her own good. Um, but she managed to pick, get this for me, and I think it was from Australia. So she managed to get this imported from Australia, and it is the Marie Pop Vinyl, and I'm so excited. She's flocked. She's gorgeous. And um, I've had her at the box because I've used her in photos on Instagram, but I'm so excited because you all know how much I love Marie, and I wanted this, and I didn't think we could get it because it's a Hot Topic exclusive in America, I think. That might be wrong, I'm sorry if it's, that's wrong, but basically it got launched in America and not here. And it turns out it's also in Australia. So I now own her and I'm super excited. And she wasn't that expensive either. I think she was like £15, which is fine, especially because you can't get her here. So I'm really excited to own her. On the theme of Marie, I also got another pair of pyjamas in Primark. But I think they're in the wash and I can't find them. So I'll try and insert a picture now. Um, but yeah, they were super comfortable, got really comfortable leggings, and I've worn them so much, that's why they're in the wash. I also picked up the Marie pyjama shorts, just the shorts, um, which are £5 in Primark, and they're stripy, and they've got um, like a, I don't know, what do you call that, like a transfer of Marie in the corner, in a heart, um, and the little fluty bottoms. The reason I only got the shorts is... One second. Yes, the only reason I only got the bottoms is because I'm not a fan of the matching top that comes with this. Ignore this bright white light here. It's reflecting off of next door's conservatory and sort of hitting me straight in the face. The lighting is so bad today. Um, so yeah, I'm not a fan of the matching top, but I do like my other Marie pyjama top that I've got with it. They don't exactly match, but I'm going to pair them with this because also in the summer I don't really want to be wearing long... Um, long trouser bottoms so I thought I could wear the shorts instead so I just got them. The only other pair of pyjamas that I got in Primark this month are these Bambi ones which are just literally a vest with B on it and it's got Bambi and little really cute Bambi shorts with Bambi heads all over them and um, they're really cute and I think they were £6 in Primark so yeah really cheap and lightweight so like I said when it's hot you can just throw these on rather than wear my unlimited pairs of long pyjamas that I own. So I think I've mentioned before that I collect um, the DVDs with the o-rings on it, the shiny o-rings so this month I managed to get some more um, mainly because I don't need that many more um, but the ones I did get are ones that were really expensive so they were, were really hard to get hold of and on ebay people were spend, selling them for a lot of money and HMV at the moment are selling them really cheap so for instance I got Leon and Stitch which is 4 99 in there and previously I have seen this o-ring, just the o-ring go for 20 plus pounds on ebay which is ridiculous and this is the DVD and the o-ring I already own the DVD Lilo and Stitch but I didn't own the o-ring so I'm going to maybe sell my old DVD, it's brand new um, but keep this one, so I've got Lilo and Stitch I got The Wild which was also 4 99 which is dead cheap I got The Emperor's New Groove which is 4 99 also this one was going for a lot of money on eBay um, so yeah he's only 4 99 HMV and I finally got the Moana and um, O-Ring I hadn't bought Moana before because I was waiting for this cover 
um, and then I found out they launched it and I went into HMV and for some reason their pricing difference so some of the DVDs were £12 they didn't have the o-ring on it and this one had the o-ring and it was 6 99 which I thought was about a vegan I thought it was a bargain because the supermarkets are charging £10 without the cover so 6 is a very very good price so I got them for to add to my collection so the Sum Sum Tunes they just gone, not the one that's approaching which is the Lady and the Tramp, it was the Pixar one and I didn't want all of the Pixar Sum Sums, I didn't want all of the Pixar um, Sum Sums, I literally just wanted the animals. So the ones that I got from this launch was I got Remy with his little um, chef hat on and he's got um, like a spoon on the side of him. I also got the two different um, Dugs from Up from the this range and um, I wanted them because obviously I had to have the Kona Shame one but I couldn't get the non Kona Shame one so I got them both um, and they are the only ones that I got from this range. I bought a couple of others for a friend um, but I won't be showing them because they are a gift and I don't really want to show you before she gets them um, so yeah these are the ones I got. So once again I've gone um, pin crazy this month um, when I hadn't attended to so I did get, I haven't taken these off of the things they came on in the fact that I didn't want to misplace any before I filmed this um, but I bought this Bambi pin um, I'm not sure how well it's going to show up but it's sort of um, Bambi with the butterfly on his tail and I also bought um, the Dodger pin that I think is from a mystery pack from like Disney World but I'm not sure um, but he's cute, I love Dodger so I had to have him. I bought a bunch of pins from a friend on Instagram and they are mainly Winnie the Pooh ones but I got um, this one with Winnie the Pooh and Piglet in it. Got Eeyore, Pooh Bear on his own, Piglet on his own. And then not really the poo, but my favourite one out of this lot is Figaro, who is really cute. Then I was contacted by a very sweet girl on Instagram that asked me where she could send me a pin. And I said, you didn't need to do that, it was way too kind, but she said she wanted to anyway. Um, so she very, very kindly, it's just backed on a um, like chip backing from Primark, um, but this Aurora gem pin because Aurora is my favourite and apparently she had doubled so she very kindly sent me this one which was very very nice of her and then she went way too far and also sent me this Marie pin um, which is gorgeous so thank you so much you didn't need to do that um, but yeah so I got these two which I'm in love with and then my friend that has sent me so much this month um, also very kindly gifted me some pins I was buying them off of her and then she very cheekily said not to send any money um, so I've ended up with some gorgeous pins and I've left them on the backing so I didn't lose them but I got this Thomas O'Malley pin, the Duchess one and then one of Duchess and Thomas O'Malley together and I'm in love with these because obviously Aristocats are my favourite so I got them ones and then she also very kindly sent me um, this Disney Parks Marie one so yeah she was very kind so I have got a lot of pins this month oh no I've got more so I also bought some further pins off someone off my Instagram and they all very kindly sent me some extras with it so I received these stickers with it um, Aurora, my favourite obviously <laughs> and Gotters and the pins that I received are the Aladdin and Jasmine one I don't know if the sun's going to hit this um, Prince Eric and Ariel, Shere Khan and the Aurora, I guess you'd call it a China doll, um, they're all really gorgeous, I'm in love with these, so I got a lot of pins this month, again, um, so I think pin collection is becoming a problem for me, I'm go I know I'm going to buy so many when I go to America, um, so it's just fine, I've got to buy a pin board actually, I went out today and I forgot to buy a pin board which I'm now kicking myself over because I that's what I went out for just ended up buying other stuff instead um, so I've been need, in need of a phone case for quite a long time now like in, I've been needing a 
new phone case and I've always really wanted a Disney themed phone case. I've struggled to find one that I actually like. So I got in touch with, with Mermaid Handmade Treasures. I hope I said that right. I'll link her details below. But basically we designed this phone case um, which I'm not sure how well this, all the details are going to show up on it. But I designed this one via one of her live videos. Um, she knew I wanted one and she said okay just join me on my live video and we can design it together. So of course I wanted a Marie inspired phone case. Um, so I picked out this Marie, um, I don't know what you call this, badge and it was framed in a black bottle cap and this one with all three kittens on it. We chose to use this, I'm not sure how well it shows up but it's a pink glitter as the background and it's covered in um, crystals all over it, it's lined with them, it's got this massive black bow in the corner, um, little hidden mickeys and little bows. Um, there's a rose on there and there's this um, Mickey head which looks a bit like sweets um, but it's amazing. I love this phone case, it's so different, it's unique, no one else has this phone case and um, it's a good grip on it um, because it's quite chunky. It's actually a little dull now because I've had it on my phone every day So and I use my phone quite a lot actually, well, obviously because I spend a lot of my time on my social media accounts. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. It's such a good quality case. She can make any design that you like. Um, as long as you talk to her about it, she can find something that works for you. Um, I'm in love with this. I'm 100% going to be ordering another one. Um, I'm probably going to need one in time to go to Florida, probably. Because um, I imagine I'm going to be taking a lot of photos whilst I'm out there. And not just on my camera. So, yeah, I will be ordering another one. I'll have to think about what theme I want. I'm not sure. But definitely check out her store if you want a Disney personalised phone case. So the only other small business I received something from this month was um, a shop called Little, I want to say TS or is it Little T's? One of them. I will Again I will link the details below but she very kindly contacted me out of the blue and asked whether she could send me something for me to show you all what she makes and of course I said of course, um, and what I received I was not expecting, so I picked up, well the parcel arrived in my house and this is what was inside, so these four little macaroons and they rattle, so I was a bit confused but I'm in love with these, so what these are, these are cases, so she sells Disney inspired jewellery and every item she sends out comes in its little macaroon case which is very very sweet, this is such a cool idea and these are the items that I received, I'm in love, I didn't know she was sending me this many things and I'm amazed, I love them so there was this little Bambi necklace, I'm not sure how well that's going to focus so yeah it's silver and it's got a little Bambi on it and this one there is a, I'm hoping this hasn't got tangled up when I put it back in I received this gold Mickey necklace which sort of dangles from his ear, it's very very cute and subtle and um, so is this Mickey necklace I have to be careful of these because they're quite small I'll just get one out but there was these rose gold mini mount the sun is really not helping me right now mini mouse um, rose gold earrings that have got a heart in the middle I'm hoping that shows up. They're really cute and small. And last but not least, I'm hoping I can show you these because they are very small. But these silver Mickey Mouse stud earrings, they are very, very subtle, but at the same time, very, very cute. And I'm hoping it's going to focus. There we go. And um, so, yeah, they're tiny, but they're so cute. And um, um, I haven't got huge ears, to be honest. So they're not going to look. Um, too out of place I hope I haven't tried them on properly yet because like I said I'm I'm quite bad with misplacing things as you can see from my I've misplaced a couple of things for this haul so I didn't want to lose anything before I was showing you but she also sells um, like enamel earrings uh, I think there's some stitch ones which are really cute and there's also some Marie ones which I'm in love with so if they come back in stock I know I'm going to buy myself a pair of them 
but she does some amazing jewellery. It's very, very good value. So, again, I'll link her details below if you want to check it out. So, I also got this snow globe. I bought it on eBay. No, I didn't. I bought it from a selling site, and it is Duchess at the side, and then a little Marie in the middle. And she sits on, like, a pedestal. Let's see if I can get the glitter to work. And it's sort of a multicoloured glitter inside. And um, I think I only paid... I want to say I paid £15 for them. I can't remember. I think it's £15. But I love it. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. But it's still adorable. I'd never seen it before. And then once I had seen it, I did see it on eBay actually. Um, so they are on eBay. But it's not something that I've seen before. I'm not sure where it came from originally. I'm not sure if it was the store or the parks. But it's gorgeous. And it is Aristocats, which I can't get enough of. So I had to get that. Um... You would have seen that before I did get a Mickey backpack from Primark, however this month they launched um, this bigger backpack which has got a, a sort of festival mini on it and it's got a front pocket. The reason I also got this is because I need a slightly bigger backpack when I'm in America to transport a few items from Disney World to Universal when I'm staying a night so I thought this would be a handy size to put some clothes in. This one is also £12 even though it's bigger so I got this one and then literally the other day Primark relaunched well, no, Primark launched this backpack which is very similar to the black one that I own however it is sparkly so I had to have it and um, it's still got the Mickey Mouse thumb and shorts on it although these ones aren't rubber these ones are like a leverette material where the other ones were rubber um, other than that and the glitter it's pretty much the same backpack it's still the same size it was also £12 and um, but it's sparkly and I love it and um, I know full well my boyfriend will not carry this around Disney World because it is sparkly so he can use the black one when I need him to carry it and I will have this one I also got the Beauty and the Beast jumper from Primark eventually and um, I have worn this so I haven't got the price tag on it at the moment and I can't remember what it was. I've got a feeling it was £8, um, but that might be wrong. But it is super, super comfortable. I got it in a medium and it's quite big. It's quite baggy, but I like my jumpers that way. Um, and it's got a very, very soft inside of it. So it's very comfortable. It's not too thick. It's very lightweight. I actually had it on yesterday when the weather was very miserable and raining. So despite it being summer, I wore my jumper and it was super comfortable. And I love it. It's just got roses around the top, a little chip, um, Lumia, Plumet, and I don't know if I can get the bottom in it, but what side is it? This side? At the bottom it just says Beauty and the Beast. So yeah, that's gorgeous. My friend that sent me numerous Disney items also sent me this Marie Sumsum notepad and these Sumsum um, memo sheets that fold up and you can put them on your desk. Um, so I've got them. This month, very start of this month I believe, um, <laughs> Disney Store relaunched the Lion King plushes. Now if you've watched my previous videos you will have known that I've just sold my big scar. Um, I actually sold him when the scar was released and I still got, I still got a fair amount of money for him because he is bigger and I wasn't intending on buying the Lion King plushes until I went into store and I saw Mufasa. Mufasa, Mufasa, I, I can't say his name properly, but I couldn't leave him behind because I think he's gorgeous. His face is lovely and he's so soft. Um, so he's 19.99 in the Disney store. The only problem that I have with him is his size. Um, because if you can see behind, I've still got my big adult Simba. He is so small compared to him. And that was the issue. And... I was toying in my mind, do I get Scar? I have just sold Scar. And the reason I sold him was because I knew it was worth money and I needed the money. Um, but I did end up reordering Scar. And he's also 19.99. And I don't know how I feel about him. He's very small. Well, Mufasa's quite well made and Scar is like tiny. Like I can literally get my hand around his waist. And my other Scar, it was massive. So he was like my big one sitting up here and he looks like a baby compared to him. Um, 
so I feel like Disney Store have really let well at least they've let me down with this remake of him I bought him because I do still want a scar um, but I feel like they've yeah I'm not I'm not very I'm happy with Mufasa because there wasn't one of him before I just don't know how I feel about this guy also he's not stamped and my big one was stamped so mm, I'll keep him but I don't know I'm impartial towards him just yeah so I did get them too <laughs> now I'm down to my last few items so one of the items that my another friend picked me up again was the Winnie the Pooh Honey Pot mug from Primark and um, this is very well made for a Primark mug when I saw it I actually showed him a picture of it and he was shocked but it was a Primark mug he thought it was a Disney store mug and it's this it's massive it's, it's so well made I just think it's so cute it's just honey it says honey like it does in the movie it's, it's gorgeous I don't this mug I'm toying between drinking out of because it's not Disney store but I feel funny about drinking out my Disney mugs so I'm undecided at the moment it's currently still in his box and I will decide later on whether I will use it or not that is fuck no it's six pound in Primark that one I think it does come in a really cute box actually I'm not going to get it back in now so yeah I think even the box is nice on it and um, I've just turned it wrong but basically honey comes out here and um, my friend went to Disneyland this month and she very kindly picked me up some items from there so she picked me up Peter Pan as Mickey and um, he's adorable he is 19.99 euros in Disneyland um, and he is a Disneyland exclusive and he's very cute so he's in his little Peter Pan outfit he's got his little dagger and he's quite soft now I've got a thing, I've obviously got all the minis dressed up as princesses and I've now decided that I want to try and collect all of the little Mickeys and Minis that are dressed up as characters because I prefer them over the dolls like I've said before so I've got him I did want the Sorcerer Mickey in the blue outfit but unfortunately he wasn't available when she went so I'm still on the lookout for him um, and I think the Tinkerbell mini I think she exists so she's another one that I'm looking out for she also sent me some Disneyland um, like guides for the 25th anniversary she sent me this adorable um, Lady and Tramp postcard which I'm thinking I'm going to have to frame or put on like a photo holder or something she sent me these little I think they're mints um, in this daisy duck tin I won't eat them I will literally just have them on my side so they're in a really cute tin and then once again this involves tins so she also picked me up this um, Bambi one flower bumper and of course Todd and Copper which are my all time favourites had to have these so these are really cute and they're actually quite a good size um, so yeah she picked all of them items up from Disneyland I'm not sure how much these are I think they were 7 99 each I think I don't know for sure because they've just got a colour on the back and that colour is green um, and they were all the same price and my last two items one of them was from the Disney store when I put in my order for the Sum Sums this month I also ordered one of the new sketchbook ornaments that have just come out and it was Bernard and Bianca because from the rescuers because they are adorable um, this was 12 99 in the Disney store it's actually a lot lighter than I thought it would be because the bottom's quite light this, the water bit but it's still very cute um, and I had to have it the only issue I have with this is this card on top is very very big and I wanted to display this but I think I'm going to struggle with this on top but I'm reluctant to remove it um, because I don't want to devalue it at all um, but I do like that then I put a wanted ad on the Facebook selling sites because I'm actually after the Siamam sketchbook from the other year and a lady contacted me to say she had it 
and I was going to buy it off of her but she actually smashed it before she could send it to me she actually sent a picture of it smashed so I couldn't buy that off her but she did say she also had this and it is the Lady in the Tramp sketchbook so it's still in its box it's, it's amazing it's perfect and it is I'm going to see it I think it is the Lady in the Tramp sketchbook ornament and it's glorious so they're sitting around the table at the restaurant tucking into some spaghetti and yeah I'm in love with this this is going to be displayed too the only thing I do dislike on this is the way that the pin for the hanging decoration but it comes out of lady's head um so that's the only issue i have with that because that looks a bit weird from that angle um but i'm super happy i owned this because on ebay they're really expensive and i think she sold him them to me for i think it was 17 pound might not have even been that actually but on ebay i've seen this go for like over 30 pound so i have this and i'm very happy and I think that was everything this month. I've probably forgotten something because, as you can tell, I'm very, very disorganised. I tried to make a list of everything I bought so I would remember and quite clearly that didn't work. So, despite the fact that I was trying to be good, I ended up with quite a lot of items again. I think next month will be slightly less because obviously the next month I go to Disney World and I'll be buying a lot there and I'll have this massive Disney World haul when I came, come back. Um, so I'm not sure how much will feature in my next one but if you've managed to make it all the way through this video again thank you for watching I'm sorry it was so long again but hopefully I will see you all next week